Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a great week. This week I'm making an intuitive painting using watercolors. Almost five years ago now, I moved to the U.S. to be with my love. We had met while we were both traveling independently in New Zealand. You might be wondering why I'm telling you all of this. Well, the point of this story is that I'm originally from Canada, and though I love living here in the U.S. with my love, I still miss my family greatly. Because we live so far away, I don't get to see my family very often. And needless to say, the pandemic has not helped to make things any easier. When I feel sad and miss my family, I often will use art to process my feelings. And in some way, this helps me also feel closer to my family. I've been learning about astrology lately, so I decided to make a painting representing my family and all of our different astrological signs. My three siblings, my mother and father and I, are all represented in a circle colored with the element of our sign. My mother, my sister and my youngest brother are all earth signs, so I represented them here using green circles. I used the color gray to represent the element of air and the air signs of my father and oldest brother. Blue is the color of water and also of my water sign, Cancer. Once my circles were completely dry, I added the symbols of each of our astrological signs in the center of the circles. One thing I'm learning for sure about astrology is that it's very complex and it's not quite as simplistic as I represent it here in my painting. People with earth signs have very grounded energy and it is said that they are the people you can always rely on. This is definitely true of the three earth signs in my family. Those with astrological signs that align with the element of water are said to be intuitive and emotionally fluid. I would definitely say that about myself. People with air signs are known to be more cerebral, have a live and let live mentality, and typically they can make decisions pretty easily. I would say this is pretty true of my brother and, and dad. When I'm making an intuitive painting, I start with some reference points and then I just kind of go with the flow and let my intuition guide the way. When working with watercolors, if you want to make your colors darker, simply use less water. If you want to make your colors lighter, use a lot more water to dilute your colors.
Now I'm going to start using some different pens to add some details and doodles. I'm very lucky to have grown up in a very loving and supportive family. Sure, we've had our differences along the years, but no matter what, we love each other and we've always been there for each other. And for that, I'm truly grateful. Since I started my journey as a YouTube content creator a few months ago, the people who have supported me the most have been my family. My immediate family has supported me since I was a kid, um, but now my family has grown significantly since I met my love five years ago. And I don't know where I'd be without all the loving people in my life. So I wanna take a moment to thank you all for watching. Every week, some of the most important people in my life make it a point to watch my videos. They don't do it necessarily because they have a great interest in art, but they do it to support me. I can never tell you exactly how much it means to me that you make the time to do this, but I want to say a great big thank you because I truly appreciate it. I don't think I could have ever really anticipated exactly how difficult it would be to start this journey creating content for YouTube. I'm so thankful that I get to practice my passion every day and create. It really is an essential part of my soul. I also really love to learn and I have to say I've been doing a lot of learning since I started my journey on YouTube. I had never really video edited much <laughs> before, maybe some small family videos or whatnot, but never anything like this. And um, it's been kind of a roller coaster in certain ways, but in other ways it's been very gratifying as well because I'm learning a lot of skills that I think will be very useful for me moving forward. When I started this journey, I gave myself the challenge of posting one art video per week. Four months later, I've been able to keep it up and this is my 16th video. Some of you have been on this journey with me since the very beginning and again I want to say thank you for being there and for making the time to watch. It, it really does mean a lot to me. Even though it's been four months already, I am still very much in the process of trying to figure out who I am as a content creator. I'm an artist and I'm a therapist. I'm someone who loves to work with people and to help people. And I would love to be able to figure out a way to blend both my art and therapy to do work that is helpful to others, but also inspires others to live their best life possible. As you can see here, I've stopped painting and I've started adding a different medium to my surface. This product is called Pibeo Mixtian Relief and it's a medium that will help me bind gold leaf to my painting. 
Once I'm done applying it to my surface, I'll have to let it dry for about 30 minutes to an hour before I can move on to the next step. Now that the medium is dry, I'm ready to move on to the following step. Earlier I called this product Gold Leaf, but it's actually called Mirror Effect Leaf. When using this product, it's important to note that you need to have the gold side of the sheet facing up, otherwise it won't work. My husband Damien and I have both been blessed with big families. And in our two families combined, we have a total of 13 nieces and nephews, and we feel so lucky to have them. Here I've decided to add little hearts to my circles to represent our nieces and nephews on my side of the family. I also put two little hearts in my circle to represent our two fur babies, Copain and Garou. Now the painting is complete and I really wish you could be here to see how beautiful it is with all that mirror effect. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that soon we'll be able to travel to Canada again. We miss you guys tons and look forward to seeing you. Sending you lots of love. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful week and happy creating!